Wreckfest is crashing its way onto mobile this month. Let's get into it. Hey guys and welcome back to the channel. And for today's video we are going to be talking about Wreckfest making its way over to Android and iOS later this month. Now for those of you who don't know what Wreckfest is, it is a demolition derby racing game developed and published by Bugbear Entertainment and THQ Nordic and was initially released in January 2014 for console and PC and has since then been met with some really positive reviews with a 90 out of 100 from IGN and a 4.5 out of 5 from Xbox Hub and a 9 out of 10 from PSI. Now that was nearly 10 years ago and now in 2022 they are bringing the game over to mobile and it will be published by Handy Games and THQ Nordic. Now from what we can tell from the gameplay footage and trailers that have been given to us, we can expect to see the same chaotic racing that we have seen on console and PC. And in the mobile version, they will be bringing over many features from the PC and console versions like career mode, where you can battle in championships and earn experience points to unlock new upgrades for your large selection of cars and become the all-time Wreckfest champion. And with your new unlocks, you can upgrade your car's looks and upgrade your car's durability. But however, be careful with your upgrades as making your car like a solid tank can have major implications elsewhere. Yes, your car may be able to withstand multiple crashes, but will affect things like your handling and acceleration performance. And on the flip side of that, not having enough armor will make your car light and quick but you will have more chance of being eliminated from the race early as your car will not be able to withstand much damage. And if you want to play with your friends that will not be a problem as there will be a multiplayer mode as well. So you can either race as a team or battle it out in the demolition derby stages. Now one thing to note this game will not be cross platform as even the PC and console versions of the game are currently not cross platform either so you will only be able to play with your friends if they have it on a mobile platform through Google Play Store or the Apple App Store. Now this game is not going to be free to play but will be coming in at a reasonable price tag of $7.99 here in the UK. So with this game being a premium paid game, hopefully the game will not launch with a load of bugs or be completely broken at launch. And speaking of launch, this game is set to drop on October 25th on Android and iOS and one other nice feature that they will be bringing over is controller support for those of you who prefer the console type experience on your mobile device. And with so many PC and console games making their way over to mobile, let me know in the comments section down below what games you are most excited for to be released on mobile. And with that guys, don't forget to drop a like if you enjoyed this video and I will see you guys in the next one.